Hi, welcome back to the workshop for episode 23 of the GGBO 2022 build. And in this episode, we're gonna turn our attention back to the top of the guitar and tackle that tricky subject of the F holes. Okay, so we've got the back of this thing mostly carved out. There's a little bit of cleanup work to do on the bottom half, but we can address that at any point really. There's no rush to get that done. So the next thing to worry about is F holes. Now F holes can be quite a contentious subject. Some people love them, other people not so much. But I think it's worth bearing in mind that one of the design criteria for this guitar is that I can sit with it on my knee and play it acoustically. So from that perspective, F holes are a good thing. Personally, I like them, so it was always my intention to put them on. The next thing to come up is what type of F holes? because there's traditional ones or there's more modern ones and there's some that aren't F holes at all. They're just a hole shaped like something else. Had a few people suggest diamond shapes a la a Trini Lopez style 335. I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan of those. I also had a suggestion for Rickenbacker style kind of swooshes, but in all honesty, I don't think any of those options are gonna look right. I am something of a traditionalist when it comes to F holes. However, I think there is a slight compromise that can be had on this front because what I actually intend to use are, they're actually the F holes off a thin line Telecaster. And I'm not sure how well you'll see that on the camera, but as it happens, they are the right shape and they're kind of a mix between the traditional F hole and a slightly kind of simplified modern version. So. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. And I've prepared these two paper templates. Basically one's the, the reverse of the other one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take some of this Pritt stick and stick them on directly to the front of the guitar, one at a time. So this is the new vegan Pritt stick. I don't think it's as good as the meat based one if it ever was meat based, but the old one to me seemed to stick better, but there you go. And as you can see, I've kind of marked everything out to give the positions. And it's just a case of kind of getting them all lined up onto the center line and kind of sticking it down. And then to transfer this, I've got a scalpel with a brand new blade in. And all I'm going to do is just very gently and carefully with my big eyes on kind of score around the outside to give me the outline that I need to be cutting. And what that will also do is it will sever the fibers on the top so that when I'm sawing these out, I won't get any nasty tear out. Okay, so that's the first one marked on. It's a little bit kind of raggedy looking, but it's, it's a guide for cutting. Once it's all cut out, we can then clean it up with some fine files and stuff. I'm sure it'll look absolutely brilliant. So next job is to do exactly the same thing on the top half. Okay, so that's the two holes marked out. So all that's needed now is I need to just drill some small holes in strategic places, get the bench pin out and the coping saw and a fine tooth blade and start working my way around these. definitely having F holes now. So that's kind of the point of no return, isn't it? So nothing for it now, but to get the bench pin set up and start slowly but surely taking this waste material out. 
Okay, and I've got my favourite new concepts coping saw um, with a relatively fine blade in. It's nowhere near as fine as I'd use for, say, cutting mother of pearl inlays, but it is fine for wood. And I'm just going to start working my way around the perimeter of these F holes and get the waste cut out. Okay, so there's the first one cut out. It's actually come out quite nicely, but there are some rough edges in there. So that's gonna to have to be cleaned up now. So it's a case of kind of breaking out some small files and just slowly and steadily working the way around, just taking out the rough material and getting it down to an acceptable finish. Now that might seem like it's gonna be a, a long old job, but it's actually something that can go quite quick. And it's probably just one of those occasions where you want to put some music on, settle in, take your time and do a nice job of it. Okay, so there's clearly a lot of cleanup that we need to do on this. I'm going to keep filing. Um, I'll probably get some sandpaper wrapped around dowels and drill bits and stuff to clean out these, these rounded areas and get those looking really nice and smooth. And I'll do the same thing around these areas with some sandpaper just stuck to some kind of thin wooden sticks to kind of really get into those areas and clean them down nicely. But on the whole, I think it's looking really nice i am happy with it i think the combination of the telecaster f hole which is normally cut into a flat surface cut into this carved surface really does look nice i'm actually very pleased with them now i haven't got a recommendation for tonight a i've been really busy and haven't had time to look for any and b I haven't had any recommendations sent to me. So if you have got a channel that you want promoting or you're looking at someone else's channel that you think deserves a little bit more exposure, just drop me a comment, let me know, and I'll be happy to feature that. I'll be back tomorrow where hopefully we'll have this in a position where we can get it glued onto the rest of the body. As always, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.